Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great day today. We have ourselves an LED lit nightstand. We're gonna get into all the specifics. Don't you worry about that, but just like all my videos in the description box right below the video. After the video is done, you guys can read more about it. Pick one up yourself. Again, that will be in the description box below. So we have our instruction manual. We have our hardware. We have our kit all in front of us right here. Came well boxed. Obviously it's out of the box right now. So let's go ahead and, and put this together. And if we run into any snags with putting it together then we'll of course let you know all right let's begin all right a couple things that you might get stuck on direction state this but sometimes it's a little bit clear just show it in person so these little things if you detach them or at least loosen them almost so they almost fall off when you put these in so what you want to do is you want to put it in first and then you want to put that in. Go ahead and screw it down with your screwdriver until it's nice and tight. That is number one. Number two is going to be for the drawer slide part. You're going to extend it, direction say it, but sometimes it's a little bit easier again, once again with photos. All right, you're going to extend it out and you're going to see this little itty bitty tab, like the drawer slide stops right here. You're going to see this. You're going to push this like that and then it's going to be able to slide out. And then I just put these over here like this and then screw those in according to the direction. All right, folks. Folks, we are almost complete here, but I do want to show you one thing if this does happen to you and how to fix it. So as you can see here, just on the edge, I'm not lined up very properly here. And down here at the bottom, this one's good here, but let's go ahead and rotate this over. As you can see, this is just off a little bit, but this side is a lot better than the other side. So what we need to do is we need to pull out this drawer and then we need to loosen up these right here and here. And we need to shove that over and retighten it so it lines up a little bit better on both sides as well. And I think I'm gonna have to get the top portion as well. Loosen those up, scoot that over, and then tighten them back up, and that should. Alrighty, let's take a look at the nightstand complete and ready to roll. Now forgive the bed, it is laundry day for sheets, but you guys can see the difference here. So this is your typical Ikea queen bed frame here. And this is your typical Ikea upcycled. I put some uh, champagne gold handles on it, but this is your typical Ikea nightstand here. So this is the size reference to it. As you can see, let me get down right here on the ground. My bed doesn't have any lifters or risers or anything like that. It's just your typical Ikea bed frame. Once again, a queen size. And as you can see here, how high the Ikea one is. And then right here, it is probably a good five inches shorter or so. And so let me get a better shot for you here, as we can see. Now I probably will be putting on some handles maybe, just like this. That's not too hard to do. Maybe upcycle it even better. It does have a nice kind of a glossy white finish. You have to remove this plastic piece. Now regarding the uh, little bit of a misaligned edge here, unfortunately I couldn't really fix that. And so if you are a perfectionist, it might just be a bad drill hole or something like that. For a guest bedroom, I think this would be totally awesome. Again, I already have my nightstands, but this is a four bedroom. So I'll put this in my office or a guest bedroom, like I mentioned. Now, the only other thing that probably was either just from packaging is my guess, but overall it looks really good, except for if you're super, super picky, you can see like a couple little chips back here. Again, that was probably just from shipping. I was not too rough on it when I unboxed it, but just a few little issues like that on the interior portion. Let's see, as you can see, same thing with this one right back here. So just letting you know, this is a review video. So overall, if you don't mind a little bit shorter of a nightstand, I think it's a great option. Regarding the quality, the drawer faces are a little bit more flimsier, I'd say, than your Ikea ones. And it might just be the drawer slides, but it looks really good. And if you had some handles on it, I think that would upscale it even more. The bottom pedestal. Now, typically this is where you would have your light, but I've done something a little bit sneaky where I wanted it underneath here like this. It is, I do have it on motion detection. It seems like you got to get pretty close to that motion detection. So if that's something you want, then I'd put it down here. But even with my hand, as you saw, Let's go ahead and wait for it to turn off. I don't think it stays on for very long. Yeah, that was about 15 seconds or so. So let's try this. Let's say you get up out of bed in the middle of the night, put your foot down. As you can see here, I'm pretty close to it. So even if that was how typically the company has it where the bar 
is attached right here. If you like it, definitely do it. But regardless, you gotta get up right to that motion sensor and almost tap it, and then it turns on. Now what is cool is this is double mounted with magnetic little clips here. That's 3M backing on there. And as you can see here, here is the light bar. It has actually a pretty good diffuser on it. And so let's go ahead and try that motion activation again. Might be a sensor for the light. I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to test it more tonight when it gets a little bit darker. Maybe it turned on when I covered it up. Yeah, we'll see. But here are the directions of the light. It's giving you 3,000, 4,000, or 6,000 K, and it is dimmable. And there's your instructions on the back as well. I had it on the brightest, or like one notch under the brightest. And you can mount it either with the light switch motion detection that way, or just flip it around. And you can mount it right back like that there. Pull it down to recharge it, which is a micro... USB to USB. They do give you a cable, but it's like a five inch, six inch cable. So probably just want to use your one of your cell phone chargers, but they do give you a cable minus there's no wall adapter. It's just again, a USB to micro USB. Again, very small. Another thing is probably get yourself a better screwdriver for putting it together. It makes it a little bit easier than the one they gave you. Here is a upper shot here. As we can see, let me pull back a little bit. Again, sorry, my bed's not made with beautiful sheets. Sheets, but you guys get the idea of the different size here. But I think that's going to look great in my guest bedroom. So let's go ahead and turn on the light one more time. We'll back up that so you guys can get the idea of a different option there. So this is, again, the 3000. This is the warmest, as we can see. And I think that looks really, really sharp. And then again, turned off after about 15 seconds or so. So I'm on the bed. I get up in the middle of the night. Obviously, it'd be right here instead. But let's go ahead and put my foot down and I'm getting nothing. There we go. So it'd probably work better for you if you have it facing that way, but I kind of like it how I'm not looking at the diffuser, but it looks like it is. It's just up there shining down, and that's personally what I really like. You can barely see the light. As we can see right there, the silver little silver thing is the light, and I just personally think that looks a little bit sharper. Put like an Ikea lamp, kind of like this, right on top of it. Okay, we were on auto, just like I mentioned. Now I have it on the long, where it just stays on long, and it hasn't turned off, and I'm not sure if there's a certain cutoff time. I'll probably leave it on for a little while and see if it does turn off automatically. I am noticing a very slight hum noise with the frequency of the light on 3000. Same thing on 4000, but if I switch it over to 6000, which is the blue light, there is no hum to it. And it's a very, very slight hum, but just letting you know if you are sensitive to that. Let me try to get that on film. So the easiest way to do that without blinding the camera with a white balance is one, two, three, four. I'm pushing the button in. We're switching over to 4,000. We're going to switch it back to 3,000. And now we're going to go to 6,000. As you can see, 6,000 is really blue. So let's go ahead and show you what that looks like. That's that kind of like really clean. It looks a lot better in person. It looks more bluer on the screen filming it. But in person, that's like your beautiful white white like you would have in the back of your closet lighting for your master bedroom closet let's say and then here let's go back to uh, 3000 which we've already seen again this is more, much more of a warmer light i personally like that a little bit better that's what these are on actually those might be 4000 and then let's go ahead and show you this 4000 one two three four and then that's 4000 so that's just gonna be a little bit cleaner white. What you're seeing on camera, on screen, is what I'm seeing here as well. The only thing that's a little bit different, like I already said, was the 6,000 on camera than in the naked eye. That actually looks really clean as well. So I don't know what I'm gonna go with. 3,000 or 4,000, I think I like. Okay, again, I'm still getting a buzz on the 4,000, and I definitely can hear that. I don't think I was noticing that on the motion detection. So let's hit it one, two, and that should switch over to motion detection. And then uh, let's see here. I do want to switch it back over to, let me turn it on. Okay, I think we're back. Yeah, we're back to 3000 there. Okay, so let me see. Is that humming? 
Yeah, very, very slightly. I mean, it's so subtle, but if you are sensitive to that, just giving you a heads up, you might want to keep it on 6,000. So yeah, motion detection. I wish motion detection worked a little bit better because regardless, here, what we're going to do here is watch this. Okay, so again, this is a review video. So that's where you typically would mount it, like right around there. So yeah, motion detection doesn't work very good. That sensor is not very good. We will be testing that when it gets a little darker to see if that works a little bit better. But for right now, you literally almost have to like, like, yeah, really touch that. That has to be, I think, for the lighting purposes because let's clip it back up there. See, it works like that. So I think that has to do with the brightness of the outside light, the ambient light, etc. So we'll be putting that feature more together, but let's go ahead and look at the drawer here. The drawer definitely would fit some good stuff here. Not too tall, obviously, like pins or anything like that, but like my sound machine, um, little Louis Vuitton thingamabobber. What else we got? Like a little camera case. Let's see, most of you guys recognize like the size of like a cue ball. So as you can see there, all this room right here, that would go shut. And then this one, same exact size as well. It's actually a pretty good size. So as we can see here, there's beat headphones in a case and fits just fine. Now, what would be really cool is upscaling that with handles and soft closes as well. I think it'd be a really cool to put some champagne handles on there. It's really inexpensive. You just drill a couple holes. I have a whole video on my channel already about that. Okay, we'll be back with you when it gets dark to test out that motion detection. Okay, it is now dark. I'm gonna have to turn off the camera flash to show you the motion detection, but we're gonna give you an example of what it'd be like if you stepped out of bed with my mounting up underneath right there. So let's go ahead and begin here. We could see a little bit of ambient light. Okay, I'm now sitting down on my bed, but let's act like I would put my foot down right next to the nightstand right now. And so still a little bit slow. I wish that motion detection was a little bit better, but not too bad. Better than what it was with a complete dark room. It took a few seconds, but my foot is this far away from the motion sensor right there. And then turns off. Let's try that one more time just out of curiosity. Okay, I get out of bed. I step down, nothing. I put it closer. Nothing, and then there we go right there. So yeah, wish it would work a little bit better. Cool nonetheless. What you also could do is, I'm actually gonna act like, so I'm gonna go up to it and kind of tap it with my foot, and then it turns on. That's actually another really cool option as well. So you get up out of bed, you gotta go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, you just put your foot under there for like two seconds, lights up. Problem is, once you go to the bathroom and come back, it's gonna turn off like that, and so it'd be dark upon re-entering the room. Cool nonetheless. Now what I personally would do is probably just leave it on motion detection, or if I was in my room doing something, wanting to see some cool lights, I would turn it on as well. Or if guests are coming over with my bedroom door open from the kitchen, they could see this. That's why this is actually a LED light wall as well. And that would be a straight shot into my bedroom with a light like that. I think it'd look pretty cool. Overall, it's a cool nightstand. I'll leave it up to you if you want to jazz it up or not. And if you do like a little bit smaller of a size than your typical Ikea one, then once again, in the top link in the description box below, hit show more, description box will drop down. Top link will be this nightstand. They do make it in the darker color as well. I chose white, but just like all my videos, please don't go into debt for anything that I am making a video about. But if it does intrigue you and you do have the cash, go ahead and purchase on away. Also, if you wouldn't mind on your way out, hit that thumbs up button if you wouldn't mind helps the channel and the YouTube algorithm. Also subscribe if you'd like to see videos like this, review videos, tech videos, DIY house project videos, van life build videos. You guys get the idea. We will see you on the next one. Take care for now, guys. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.